mashed potatoes. Yes. Okay, so a little twist on them. We're gonna do whipped potatoes with a little bit of Dungeness crab in them. Oh, wow. Okay. As if mashed potatoes <laughs> aren't decadent enough. I'm exactly. so excited. Exactly. We start with cold water. Okay. Put our potatoes in the water and season the water. And what you want this water, see I'm being very generous yes. with the salt. We want this to taste like the ocean. We're gonna go ahead and let those cook okay. until they're just tender with a knife and then peel them. Grab our potato. We're looking for it to be tender the whole way through. So we gotta be able to push through it with a knife, which we can do. While they're still hot, we're gonna peel our potatoes. So Paging are... Dr. Mina. <laughs> right. So we are gonna put the glove on. <laughs> the glove. And why are you putting a glove on, Michael? Uh, so I don't burn myself. Okay, and oh, so, so, I, so I can be burned. <laughs> I noticed that you're using a, a paring knife and not a potato peeler. Yeah, well the potatoes are really starchy now because okay. it's cooked, and so the potato peeler would just make a big mess. And I'm actually using a serrated paring knife, okay. which is even helping it go through without getting the starch all over the peel. And now we're ready to rice our potatoes. We have a little bit of cream we're gonna put in the bottom of the pot. We're gonna put this on low now, just to warm up that cream. And then everyone always asks you, why are my potatoes lumpy? Why are my yeah. potatoes lumpy? So when you smash potatoes, you overwork the potatoes, and then they're gonna get really gummy. And you can see how light That's and fluffy cool. those are. Yeah. You have to have a potato ricer. So our cream is now up to, it's up to a boil. So we have our butter. Go ahead and just add that in. We're gonna put this to the pot. Butter, cream, and crab. <laughs> Sign me up. Salt, potatoes take a lot of salt. So we're gonna add a touch of salt and we'll add more as we go. Pepper. And then I'm going to put this on low, and we're going to work this. Add just a touch more cream. Wow. I am loving how much cream you're adding right now. You're making me very happy. And we're going to put our crab meat in. And okay. our crab meat's going off to the side, and we're going to let that get warm. And that's Dungeness crab? Dungeness crab, a really sweet crab. So this is... You know, like when you think of brandad and you think of salt cod brandad, this is a little play on that with Dungeness crab. Potatoes, cream, crab, and now we're ready to fold that all together. I've never heard of this before, but now, <laughs> now that it's all coming together, it seems like such an obvious combination. It just sounds like a match made in heaven. And it doesn't take that much crab to actually flavor these potatoes. And the great thing about crab is the texture. The reason I say brandad, but kind of in quotes, right, is because the texture of crab is very stringy like salt cod, mm -hmm. and so you'll end up with that same type of texture. These are the creamiest potatoes <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. I, I could have just eaten it out of the pot, you know? I know you could have. Go ahead, give that a try. All right. How These are the best it? mashed potatoes I've ever had in my whole life. <laughs> These are insane. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs>